I'm going to put you on the spot. I don't feel bad about it. Your Mount Rushmore of LSU players, like your four your players f- in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we'll leave the coaches and stuff out for the purposes of okay. this. I'm just curious from one of the best to do it. The original seven. Okay. What, what would your four guys be? My four guys would be Tyron Matthews. Um, just what he was able to do as a defensive player, a guy who never touched the ball, but he had more touchdowns than some of some of the running backs or the receivers that he uh, that he played uh, with in that season. Um, it's four. So number I go with another one, Joe Burrow. Got to put Joe Shiesty on there, man. Of course. Uh, yeah, he he. The things that he was able to do in that two thousand what nineteen season. Nineteen, yeah. About, yeah, two thousand nineteen season. You know, sixty touchdowns, five plus thousand uh five uh, thousand plus yards uh passing three receivers over a thousand yards if I'm not mistaken um just a remarkable year that I don't see a quarterback resembling in a very very long time uh number three I will have to go with myself I put myself on, on Mount Rushmore um like you said the original number seven although it came from Ali Ali Highsmith Who's from um, uh, Miami Central? That's who right. I have, that's right. Uh, asked asked for it um, before he left because he uh, ended up leaving his senior year. Um, so, yeah, the the original number seven, uh, who actually put number seven on the map, um, far as LSU passing it on to playmakers or whoever they feel who was the best player um, in their uh, uh, on their football team, and also. I was one of three players to win the Jim Thorpe and the Bet Eric in the same year. Number one, um, I know a lot of people don't know him, but he is the pioneer of LSU football. Um, you're gonna need YouTube to pull up his his uh, his highlights. But Billy Cannon, uh, the first Heisman Trophy winner uh, in 1959, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just what he was able to do to put LSU uh, football on the map. Um, uh, just that remarkable uh, punt return that he had in his Heisman uh, campaign year. Uh, I think it was like 89 yards or something like that. Something like that. 89 yard punt return against Ole Miss. Uh, pr- pretty much solidified his uh, Heisman Trophy um, uh, campaign that uh, that night. So. I had to put the two Heisman Trophy winners in there, the one Heisman, uh, one Heisman Trophy finalist and uh, Honey Badger and the guy who pretty much started DBU. And that's myself. It's it's a damn near perfect list. I think I mean, <laughs> you you could make a case for Glenn Dorsey if you wanted to. Yep. Mm-hmm. Obvi- I mean, I, we got to mention the newest one, Jaden, of Jayden, course, yep. but. I, I like your list and, and, and with some historical context as well, I would expect nothing less from one of the goats of LSU football. And look, <laughs> if, if you don't like LSU football or you don't want to hear about it on an NFL podcast, that's just too bad. If Patrick Peterson's coming on my show, <laughs> we're going to do at least like five, 10 minutes about it. All right. I'm, I'm going to let you go in a minute, but I host the show so I can do what I want. So I'm at yes, least, I'm going to get you <laughs> I'm at least a couple LSU questions. So for stars, this is something I've always been curious about um, uh-huh. like every, every so many players in the NFL went to big time college football programs. Mm-hmm. Every, you know, everybody went to school, everybody. Yeah, I get it. But you are one of those guys. Uh, you always seem to ride for LSU. I mean, you very generously donated to the athletic facilities and like, mm-hmm. there are plenty of guys that are like, yeah, that's where I went to school, but big whoop. <laughs> Where, but like you, I mean, you ride for LSU in a way that not a lot, maybe not, not a lot of guys, but not everybody does. And I'm just curious, what was it about your experience at LSU that, that it made that big of an impact on you? Man, LSU put me on a platform that, that I always wanted to be on to showcase my talent. LSU gave me an opportunity to be a trendsetter, which was to be their first Jim Thorpe winner. Um, LSU also gave me the opportunity to meet my beautiful wife <laughs> that's going on now 12 years. And we had the opportunity to, you know, grow our family having two beautiful daughters. Um, the culture there 
my experience, the, the coaching staff, the, the competitive edge that we had to go through each and every day as far as the football team, my, my teammates, because I tell guys this all the time, coming from Florida, you, you, you think, well, I don't think. We are the cream of the crop when it comes to athletes, you know, uh, <laughs> being superior athletes. And when I got to Louisiana, I was like, man, these dudes, these dudes are just like us. Like, how, how come I've never heard about Louisiana football before? So then when I got there, I saw dudes that's hungry, just like me, just as athletic as me, just as fast as me. I, I, fit, I felt like I fit right in. I was right at home. And from day one, those guys really took me in as a, as their own, you know, so naming all of those things that LSU provided for me, uh, my experience, having the, the teammates that I had the opportunity to play with, the friendships that I had the opportunity to grow, it's going to last me a, li a lifetime. And, and that's something I'll never, ever forget. And that's why I'm so, you know, so down for LSU because without them, I don't know where Patrick Peterson would be. You know, they gave me an opportunity to showcase my talents. They gave me an opportunity to, to really start, to kickstart my life. And look where we are now. So whatever I can do to give back, to not only help the uh, uh, the college, I wish I was in school when these NIL deals was out, but that's <laughs> another story. Um, but whatever I can do to, you know, to help, to help the university, uh, to, to continue to get the, the tip top athletes in, if that's donate a million dollars to the, uh, to the athletic uh, department by, you know, making the weight room bigger. Um, if that's, you know, you know, being there on recruitment trips, you know, trying to get the top DBs in there because, you know, there, we have had a little slip off of our title of the DBU. You I know? didn't so, want to say it, but it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an honest man. I'm an honest man. So, um, we, we, we have had a little slip up on the, uh, on the title of DBU. So we want to, we want to get back to the top of the mountain with that. So, um, whatever I can do, I'm all for it. All right. Which music to my ears, honestly. Yeah. Let's, I was thinking about that on my drive into work. I was like, man, Stingley, Stingley's great, but like, we, we got to keep, we got to get some more cornerbacks in the league, which to that end, one last one for you, 